Hello Libra. We're doing your reading for mid-May to June of this current year. Congrats. You survived another month. Kudos to you. I actually did your reading earlier, but uh, I kind of rushed it in the end because me and my husband went to go get a new car. We actually traded our car. And now we need to get a new starter. And one of us needs to hold the key in one position so we can... Um, so the other person can drive it and it is so awkward because it's a manual so they gotta reach around my arm while I hold this fucking key and cramp up my hand. But it's a cute little car. I like it. I didn't picture myself ever owning a car of its color but it is very interesting. Definitely fits the persona of the devil. That's for sure. Possibly it's spray paint. But we will continue, Libra. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Right? This resonates with you. Good deal. If not, don't worry about it. It's not a big deal. It's just a card game after all. No whammies. You want a personal reading? Give me up in my email below. And I don't charge, I take tips and donations, and so my PayPal is there as well in the description box. Prince of Cups, someone like being kind of eh about offering their cup up in the future. I don't know why I got that. Um, probably having issues with something from the past. Let's turn this light on. I just got comfortable in my little zen position. There we go. Oh yeah, look at this. I found a feather. It's like a nice blue color when you can see it. But I think it's pretty. Like, I just happened to find it. I don't know what it came from, but it's pretty. I've never seen feather that color before. And it's nice spread out. Maybe I could tie it and make it into a pen. Oh, and I'll reshuffle these. That's okay, though. Just take us back to where we need to go. Okay. Let's do the rest. <clears throat> oh, yeah, your wants and wishes definitely reflecting this thing. Whatever it is you're mulling about in the past, you still have a passionate future ahead of you. But it's like, in order to get that, you gotta offer your cup up with the Prince of Cups. And you're being really stubborn about that. Yeah, you're afraid or rejecting some sort of nasty attitude. It could be yours. You could be rejecting this because you're just being like, Nye! or something. <laughs> But, um, hmm. It's like you're looking so begrudgingly at what is in the future, and you're holding out on yourself when it comes to the past. Ew, the situation, you're mentally torturing yourself. You guys tend to do that a lot. Like, a lot. Especially if you have kids. I'm only saying that because my dad's a Libra, though. So, keep that in mind. Uh, what is going against you and your obstacles and challenges? You're not only guarding yourself with those wands, you're throwing them at people and using that. Like, the best defense is a good offense approach. Hmm. Really defensive. And the catalyst as well as the final result, home. Ten of pentacles. Everything you could have wanted for. That perfection to the house. Oh, right. Beginning theme. Capricorn's card. The devil reversed. You hold this, Gretchen. Thank you. Ugh. I don't know, my pants zipped, so, you know. They keep sliding, and I have, like, an old injury on my back where I can't feel it, but I can feel a sensation. It's weird when there's just one spot where you can't feel anything on your body, but you know something's there, and you know you have to move because the sensation's getting stronger. I don't know how to explain it. But, um, I don't know why I have this up here. Gretchen, you take care of the feather. Ooh, I pretty much have everything for my altar. Cool. Anyway. The devil reverse. Someone trying to come out of a bad vibration they make with another person. Um, technically this is Capricorn's card. And, like, with Capricorns, I will say, we're the only ones who can maintain a certain vibration for an extended period of time. Without it becoming, like, you know, this 
insanely show off character of two people being dogs submissive to the relationship, right? That's it's reverse. And we're kind of like, or fucking with it. Or not fucking with it. This could be somebody trying to come out of that negative energy. Yeah. Something to do with their home at that, Libra. Mind you, this is a six-way spread, so keep that in mind. Prince of Cups. Reverse. It's like someone's tortured because they didn't offer their cup up, too. Mind you. That's kind of what it feels like. It's like they're just got their head on their head, thinking about this tower and be like, I could have offered this cup, but I was being too bougie, I guess. Being like, he's all suited up, he's all dressed up. Like, he really gives a damn about what he looks, but then he's there to just reject everybody. It is just like, and this person over here with the Eight of Cups and what they're wanting and wishing for is actually looking back at this dude acting like he don't want to give his cup up when really he does. Excuse me. Being really defensive about it, though, like, you're having a hard time opening up, leaving them feeling like they got a nasty attitude and all they want is home. Yeah, but they're keeping secrets. This person is Libra. Could be you, could be the cross watcher, whoever it is you think you are in this, really. But yeah, like, this is insane. A little bit, like, someone is definitely, like, juggling from the past like I don't even know if there's a Capricorn in this really it could just be you dealing with another person and mind you um this is like the devil in this is how you guys vibe together you know not exactly that the devil is the one influencing influencing the negativity in this relationship but that the two people just being together influence this negativity and like I said really a Capricorn is the only one who can um, maintain a certain level of vibration with people you know until we turn negative and then well the reason for it but it's definitely like someone coming out of this negative connection right here either they have gotten rid of the devil or their vibration is no longer that which is bad for them. Now, this Prince of Cups over here, this person who didn't offer their cup up. Oh. Because they were on guard, and here's the Knight of Wands here. So maybe they're tearing up their yard. Of all the wands they put up, but they're still clunking people in the head, you know. Like, I'm always making sure you motherfuckers don't get to me if I hit you first, you know. Possibly wanting to get out of this and knocking whoever you have to out of your way to get it done. Because you've been keeping a vigil and you're very, very tired. Like, literally wearing the mask, like... The cover-up, how you truly feel... Make it look like you're awake when really you're not. Wanting to rest. But we got the Nine of Swords down here. Mental torment, torture, it haunts you. It is within your brain. It's like you're upset with your... It's like the person in this, either you or your person, Libra. This person is very much in their head about how they kept their guard and did not offer their cup. Which is like, okay. Um, strange. What is it? Okay. Temperance could be the Sagittarius who was impatient. Right? Hold on. Okay, I can see myself a little better. Cool. Really? Quit scratching my fucking doors, dude. Like, for real. I know. I know, but you can't. No, sir. Okay, so yeah, temperance. It's gonna be like... Someone's becoming patient with their torment. Someone is... <clears throat> it 
It's like it's... Mm. It's like someone's still not coming together with this or whatever. For whatever reason, it's like... There's a person holding two cups. It's like two people coming together to communicate, but it's like they don't want to come together. They're just being tormented with their weight. Like, what, impatience is going to get them to lower their guard down? Then we're looking back in, like, the past with this whole scenario. With the Eight of Cups right here. This person, yeah, like, their past is frozen, but they're still, like, involved with it, looking at it dramatically. But they are restraining themselves still, and it's just, like, still keeping guard. Like, what's the point? Could be with the Leo they're dealing with, too. Maybe this Leo is looking back on the past. Ooh. What your challenges and obstacles are is the Hermit, possibly Virgo, going introspective, seeing things. <clears throat> You're not afraid of the light of day, but it's more like it's too much for you. you just rather stay in the dark. Maybe that's why you're like, you know, you're hiding from whoever can see you. Whoever you are, person. This person is very much, um, throwing their wands in the defensive stage so nobody sees what they're doing, but they want to keep their eye out. You see what's going on, but don't let anybody see them, right? We got this. Fears and rejections, which is like King of Swords. Could be you, Libra. Could be Gemini. Could be Aquarius. Anybody. But this person might have a nasty attitude because they took some risks, right? And if you can see right here, this thing is slowly but surely becoming dethreaded, right? Hold on. Yeah, you can barely see it, but. A thread is coming loose. Maybe their bad attitude is what's keeping them at risk? Or maybe the risk is enough to put them in a really shitty attitude. But their attitude is enough to make them want to take risks. Right? And then we got this Ten of Pentacles and the Catalyst as well as the Final Resolve. What started all this and how it's ending? This Ten of Pentacles, right? Is pressure upon pressure when it comes to emotions. It's like this home environment. It's like weighing down on you. Like, almost like... Almost like someone's maintaining something against their will. Or it's got, it already takes a lot to maintain it, and it's just starting to become too much. Ooh, two cards. Ooh, what? Okay, so like everybody else is partying, and the magician is over here, like, doing some sneaky sneak stuff in order to get out of this scenario. Right, that's pretty much what this is saying to me. Like, everybody else is back there just doing whatever while this dude is in the background just, like, creating something. Um, whatever it is, is... I don't know if it's a proper man... In it's like he poisoned the drinks, or he poisoned one particular cup... And someone's going to drink it, possibly the one in red. And that was like the only way he could get out of this bad environment? Or get to possibly... I don't know. This is like really interesting. Hey babe. Hey. I'm still I'm like... Not done. I'm just, I, gotta have a drink. I got water right here. Yes. There's more in the fridge too if you want me to pause. Yeah. Okay, hold on. Okay, sorry about that. It took me longer than what I thought it would be, yeah. Okay, so I was looking at this for a minute, and it's like... <clears throat> it's almost like... Y'all... 
or somebody you're dealing with, cross watchers included, of course, it's like this person. It's obsessing about when they didn't give their heart up. Or they didn't offer something of value and it has something to do with temperance reverse, which is like, it could also mean like, you know, two becoming one, like almost in a religious sense, right? Because it also, because like Sagittarius can make great cult leaders. Like they really can. <laughs> like they're really good at bending people's um, morals so they don't have to worry about their own. But it's almost like somebody sabot is sabotaging these group of people being happy, but it's a separate person. Like, the stuff in the cup is red, and this dude's wearing red, and it's like, that could be the fucking Pope, for all we know. I mean, it actually does look like the higher. This dude actually does look like the higher event. He's partying and shit. Um... Home, once again, Ten of Pentacles. Someone's, like, kind of feeling dreary while everybody else enjoys themselves. They are the supportive factor in this, I feel like, Libra. Maybe that's this person's problem. Maybe they just feel a tad stuck. Oop, there's next. Oh, okay. Someone fell first. First one. Someone feels like they just aren't themselves anymore, either. Um, possibly you feel like they lost a trophy white status. Their indecision led to a burden, and now they're quite insecure about it. To the point where, like, they're really not paying attention to anything else. They're just too worried about things, really. Especially when it comes to a Queen of Pentacles reverse. She's got a lot of people around her. She always possibly spends a lot of time trying to show off to them, but none of them care. You know, like, look what I can do. Nobody cares, bitch. Like, you're boring, you know? But she can be quite demanding, too. Like, you know, she's offering this pentacle, but in truth, like, she's offering it to people who can care less. And this makes her quite bitter, so she has a very demanding attitude. Like, I want this, and I want it now. I have this. Nothing less will do, right? Like someone's already burdened over here with what they don't know about themselves or how they've let themselves almost go. In reference to some Queen of Pentacles, um, it could be Capricorn once again. We got the double card over here, but it also could be Taurus or Virgo. I don't know, this, this is almost like plot and murder. I think, I think I'm going to want to name yours. I think I'm going to name yours Plot and Murder, just because. Because this is what, this feels like the motive for murder. Especially over here with the um, Magician Reverse with the Three of Cups. Like someone's manipulating some shit to happen. Crazy tasty. Crazy tasty. But yeah, that's yours Libra. Thank you for watching my video and I hope this helps some of y'all out. And have a nice day. Bye-bye.